Ooh, here we go. We got robots moving and shaking. 12.43, trying to get over towards that. Blue Alliance cargo ship. Ooh, and like a boss, is gonna do a little twirl. 494, ready to score, has a hatch panel in their grips, and there you slam it on that rocket. The Blue Alliance leads 17-14. Meanwhile, 17 or 78-13 is hanging out in this Blue Alliance. And 26-19 pushes them back out of their zone. Charge trying to make some space to hit that bay. Ooh, and they lose it as 78-13's pressure. I believe that's the New Haven Rockets. Force them to bobble the cargo. 26-19 still getting in a tussle with them. While 12-43 is hanging out in that blue zone. Their partner, 51-55. Also, just, just chilling. I believe that's ugly. Are they going back in for a uh, cargo? We'll have to wait and see. While like a boss, also out of Midland, 5509 gets that cargo. They bring it out of that loading station and they flip it around to place it on that Red Alliance cargo ship. This Blue Alliance leading 46 to 32 nonetheless. As 494 looks to score, they put up another cargo panel, or hatch panel. And the charge. Oh, Nelly, 5150 trying to climb level three with 30 seconds left. They've got one wheel up there. Can they finish the business? With 24 left on the clock, they do. It's good for the blue. And they take a 52 to 40 lead. 78 13 coming back for the Hab on the red with 10 seconds left. Like a boss in position. 494 gonna try and score one more, maybe? No, they'll play it safe as time expires. Let's check out our scores. The Blue Alliance takes the W. 73 to 52. And 26-19 slide into the ninth place rank. 